What's going on guys, it's Simo. Looks like the brand new reveals just keep on coming because today we're gonna be covering some of the new cards set to be released in the next core set after Lightning Vortex, Dawn of Majesty. This set's actually taking a throwback to the Majestic Star Dragon support in Stardust Overdrive. Funny enough, in the progression series, we actually just did Stardust Overdrive, so I guess it's all coming together, but nonetheless, I just wanna go ahead and walk through these because A, it's Stardust Dragon, who doesn't love it? And B, some of these cards look rather interesting at least on the surface and so I wanted to go through those cards together so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it it looks like the first card we've got here is wish converging dragon cool name by the way it's a light dragon tuner effect monster with zero attack and defense and it is a level one you can always special summon wish converging dragon once per turn and it cannot be used as synchro material except for the synchro summon of a majestic monster this card's name becomes majestic dragon while on the field or in the graveyard and when when you draw this card, you can reveal it, special summon it from your hand, then if you control level 8 or higher dragon synchro monster, you can special summon one level 1 dragon monster from your deck. Okay, so a bit conditional, the fact you have to draw this card to get this effect is rather specific unless there is a way to do that, so we'll just have to see. But I mean, in terms of like, if you're looking at like the old like majestic dragon and all that, yeah, this is definitely a little bit of a step up comparatively. We obviously have to see what the rest of the support looks like. And this is just adorable. This is like a baby Stardust Dragon. Look at that. That's so cute. So this is Stardust Synchron. Oh, so this is a Synchron as well. Light Machine Tuner Effect, level 4, 1500 attack, 1000 defense. You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can tribute one monster. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Synchro Monsters. Also, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one spell or trap that specifically lists the card Stardust Dragon in its text from your deck to your hand. So this card's rather interesting. It has an effect to tribute a monster to be able to get itself onto the field. It is a level four tuner, so that will allow you to go into any of your other level fours. So that way you can get to Stardust Dragon in the first place. And then when it's special summoned off of that effect, you can add a spell or trap that lists Stardust Dragon. I'm sure we're gonna be getting more of these, I'd imagine, but there's already some decent ones out there. So we'll just have to see what the rest of those are. For all of you people who are synchro fanatics, I am not not well versed in this so if there's like synchron synergy here as well be sure to let me know because i would love to know if that's the case let's go ahead and move on oh this is a really cool artwork. this almost looks like a valkyrie artwork but that's really nice so this is stardust trail cool name light dragon effect level 4 500 attack 2000 defense you can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each if this card is in your hand or graveyard and a monster or monsters you control is tributed you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field okay so if you trigger the effect of Stardust Synchron and you also have Stardust Trail in your hand or graveyard, you can then also get this out and now you have a level four tuner and a level four non-tuner, you can then make Stardust Dragon. Okay, that seems pretty good. If a Warrior Synchron or Stardust Synchro monster is Synchro Summoned using this card as material, you can special summon one Stardust Token, which is a Dragon Light level one attack and defense zero. So basically by making the Stardust Dragon, then you then also get a token. And then since this is all also a level one, then you have 10 worth of stars to be able to sink into something like Majestic Star Dragon. I actually pulled this up here because I figured this would be relevant since we're taking a throwback. Majestic Dragon would be this because this name is considered Majestic Dragon. We have a Stardust Dragon and a non-tuner monster, which would be the token. So just like that, you can actually go straight into the monster itself. And that's pretty nice. We'll have to see what else we get. But I mean, there's a play pattern here, right? You're able to like have the tools to make this. And I think that's one of the nice things about this now is that back in the day these older sets just kind of threw you the tuner threw you the non-tuners and were just like okay, find a way to make this monster, which was like almost impossible. And now they actually have the cards that facilitate it and actually show you a path that you can go on if you wanna play a deck like this. So I like that they're revitalizing the archetype by providing you with a play pattern to actually get to where you want to be. Let's go ahead and move on to the big daddy himself. You got a little peek at this because I scrolled down a little bit too quickly, but okay, can I just say, 
Look at this artwork. This artwork is badass. This is so fantastic. So this is Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. It is a Wind Dragon Synchro Effect Monster, level 11, 4,000 attack, 3,300 defense. It requires Majestic Dragon and one or more non-tuner monsters, including a Dragon Synchro Monster. Must first be Synchro Summoned. Once per turn, you can negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls. Okay, seems pretty pretty good. I wish that were a quick effect that's only during your turn, but I mean, it's like fine. For each Stardust Dragon and each Synchro Monster that specifically lists this card in its text in your graveyard, this card can make one additional attack during each battle phase. So at the very least, if you just use Stardust Dragon to make this, this card can attack twice, which means then it will be able to do 8,000 damage direct. But if you go into Stardust, then go into Majestic Star, since Majestic Star also lists Stardust in the name, that means this card can attack three times and potentially get 12,000 damage worth of damage in. That's a lot. That's like a game winning amount of damage. So that's nothing to scoff at. And then finally, for the third effect, once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can banish this card until the end phase. That's very Stardust reminiscent. And if you do, negate the activation. And if you do that, banish that card. Okay, so this is like a souped up Stardust effect here. I really, really like this. Not only are you negating the activation of the effect, you also get to banish the card, which means most of the time it's not going to have any sort of interaction in the graveyard and you're also protecting the shooting majestic star dragon in the meantime so you're not only taking out one of your opponent's biggest threats but you're also then protecting this so the next turn this can come back and then you're going to be sitting pretty strong so that's like a pretty decent payoff like one of the biggest issues with these larger synchro monsters a lot of the time is that they need to be like game winning for the amount of investment this is a game winning card in my eyes so i think the payoff's definitely there yeah in terms of like competitive viability i I don't know if it's that good, but I mean, this is one of the best payoffs I've seen for this type of investment in quite some time. Let's go ahead and scroll on down and see what else we've got here. Oh, this is a cool card. This is Arriving Miracle, neat name, continuous spell. So when this card resolves, you can place one level one dragon monster from your hand or deck on the top of your deck. Oh, okay. So is that how we're going to get this to use the draw effect? Okay, interesting. Let's see. Stardust Dragon and Synchro Monsters that specifically list this card in their text on the field cannot be returned to the extra deck. I think this is to mitigate Majestic Star because Majestic Star, I think, has a clause that says during the end phase, target a Stardust Dragon in your graveyard, return this card from the field to the extra deck. Okay, I mean, that's like fine, I guess, if you get to that point. And then if a Synchro Monster or Monster is a special summon, you can apply one of these effects. Also, you cannot apply the same effect of Arriving Miracle again for the rest of this turn. So you can either draw a card. Okay, that's where we get there. And then you special summon one to tuner monster from your hand. Okay, so here's the play pattern that I see now. So if you just have any monster, it can be any monster, you could just normal summon whatever, right? You can go ahead and tribute that off for the effect of Stardust Synchron as well as Stardust Trail because all you basically need are these two cards and any normal summonable monster and you should be able to then ultimately end on shooting Majestic Star Dragon because you're gonna tribute the monster for the effect of Stardust Synchron. It's gonna actually trigger this second effect here which since it was special summon, you can add a spell or trap to your hand, but it's also going to trigger the Stardust Trail, and that way you can special summon this as well. You can actually chain block the effect here to ensure that this search will go through, so that's actually pretty heads up. So Stardust Trail is gonna summon, you now have your material for the Stardust Dragon. This is going to add a spell or trap, so you can add the Arriving Miracle, since it has Stardust Dragon in the text, and then you can activate Arriving Miracle, you can put the Wish Converging Dragon on top of your deck, you can sync the Stardust Synchron and the Stardust Trail for Stardust. That's going to trigger the Arriving Miracle, allowing you to draw a card. You can draw Wish Converging Dragon. That triggers this second effect. You can then Special Summon Wish Converging Dragon. And then since you have a level eight or higher Dragon Synchro, you can also Special Summon a level one Dragon Monster from your deck. Now, the thing is, this can only be Special Summoned once per turn, so you can't summon this one specifically but you need to just summon a level one, most likely drag. Well, actually it could probably be a dragon tuner or non-tuner, depending on the play you wanna make. Then right there, you should almost have all the materials necessary to go into shooting Majestic Star Dragon from that point. And 
Wow, okay, so off of these two cards and any monster on the field, you can make Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. That's not bad. That makes it actually relatively low investment. Yeah, you do have to play three of this, three of this, you know, maybe one or two of this, and then probably just one of this so that you search it. Uh, being able to special summon a tuner from your hand is also good because then you can actually, I believe, use this uh, multiple times. If a synchro monster is special summoned, you can apply one of these effects. You cannot apply the same effect for the rest of the turn. Oh, okay. So then what you can do is you can sync the uh, Stardust Dragon and go into Majestic Star and then I believe if you do that, you can then special summon the last monster in your hand if it's a level one tuner. And then that's how you're going to get into the shooting Majestic Star Dragon. That's not bad. <laughs> like for two cards, I guess three if you count the normal summon. All the tools are there to get you to this with relative ease. And this card is actually pretty good. So... I'm impressed. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's move on along. Next up, oh, look at that artwork. That's so cool. This is Stardust Illuminate. Normal spell card. You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each. Send one Stardust monster from your deck to the graveyard, or if you control Stardust Dragon or a Synchro monster that's specifically the Stardust Dragon in the text, you can special summon that monster instead. This is fantastic because you want to bin the Synchron as well as the Stardust Trail because they both trigger in the graveyard potentially so this means now you have nine ways actually to go into this combo because you can open any combination of synchron of trail as well as illuminate and you'll have the combo that's fantastic that's awesome so you can banish this card from your graveyard on the second effect target a stardust monster you control increase or decrease its level by one until the end of this turn oh my god that's so good so if you get stardust illuminate on top of it then you're going to be able to level up and get into any of your high higher synchro so that way it makes going into this thing even easier wow where was this support like 10 years ago this is the type of stuff they needed to print not like the garbage they made back then oh man i am like really impressed by this this is actually really cool so majestic absorption is up next this is a normal spell you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn target one stardust dragon or one synchro monster that specifically lists this card in its text you control activate one of these effects you can either equip one face-up monster your opponent controls to that target that target can attack attack directly this turn and each time that target destroys an opponent's monster by battle this turn inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack majestic absorption might be the least interesting card we've seen so far and here's why it requires you to specifically have stardust dragon or a synchro monster that lists it in its text before you can even use it so that's super conditional right if you don't already have you know majestic shooting star dragon or shooting majestic star dragon excuse me or any of your synchros out then this card does nothing this is something that you're never going to use you could potentially play this as a one of you can search it off of the stardust synchron and if you do that let's say you already have a riving miracle in your hand then you can actually search majestic absorption instead of a riving miracle and then you can actually get some mileage out of this so that way i mean since it's searchable that makes it a lot easier to play but i don't think you'd play more than one of it because it's so conditional but you have the ability to like equip monsters your opponent controls to the target which is nuts that's like a really really interesting way of removal you have the fact that it can attack directly and remember this thing can attack multiple times so that might just be able to win the game automatically and then each time it destroys an opponent's monster by battle inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monsters attack again if they have a lot of monsters this turns into like an ultimate conductor tyranno sort of effect and this thing has 4,000 attacks so this thing's going to be able to run over everything imaginable i wouldn't play more than one of this but i feel like that's all you really need you would want this for situations where you already have the combo and you can search it off of something like stardust synchron but again when they make these cards searchable then you don't have to max out on them so that way you can just use them for your utility and then they're not going to brick you simultaneously so i don't mind it it's like okay but again it's the least interesting because it is so specific and then i think last up here we have a trap card a continuous trap majestic mirage so if a face-up stardust dragon or synchro monster that specifically lists the 
card in its text you control leaves the field to activate its own effect or by its own effect, you can apply one of these effects. Also, you cannot apply the same effect of Majestic Mirage again for the rest of the turn. You can either special summon one of those monsters, banish one monster your opponent controls or in their graveyard, or all damage you take this turn is had. So again, we can search this with Stardust Synchron, which is nice. So if we really wanted to play this, we don't have to max out on it. Something that just occurred to me is that special summon one of those monsters. I need to check this. But if you use this effect to banish this, then can you just use Majestic Mirage to bring it back if it leaves the field to activate its own effect or by its own effect? Holy shit, unless this is only a once per turn. Hold on, then it may not be as good. It's not, oh no, it's, it, well, wait, no, no. It's soft once per turn because it's once per turn down here. That means it's soft once per turn. So because it would be returning to the field, it's actually a new copy. So that way you could actually get two banishes and two effect negations off of this. Obviously it's only gonna come back to the field once, but you get to actually recycle this incredibly broken effect another time. Okay, that sign me up for that. Banish a monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. Like, I mean, that's also good potentially depending on what your opponent's board is looking like. And then all damage you take this turn is halved is nice because this actually seems better than it might seem. And the reason for that is solely because if you banish the shooting Majestic Star Dragon, you need to live till the next turn to be able to bring it back to the field. So this might be actually one of the better effects here, but being able to recycle the effect again as well, that could just be game winning. So for a trap card, again, I don't know if you would want to max out on this necessarily. You can search it with Stardust Synchron and that's probably one of the best parts about it. But again, it is a conditional card because you need to have one of these monsters out on the field. If you don't, you're not going to be able to get any sort of value off of this. And then it's a card that's not really going to do a whole lot. However, since you can search it, you can just play one of it. You can get it off the Stardust Synchron if you want. And then if the occurrence comes up where it actually makes sense to play this, then you can go ahead and do so get a ton of value and let's be honest you'd probably just win the game but i'm not gonna lie i'm actually rather impressed with some of these cards again where were these cards like 10 years ago although to be fair maybe they would have been broken for 10 years ago but still like these cards are actually like pretty decent in terms of like competitive viability i don't know if it's that viable because again there are points in these combos that they can be disrupted although to be fair they also are fairly insulated in a lot of ways but this shooting majestic star dragon is a decent enough payoff to maybe want to mess around with this because this card is really really strong and i'm curious to see what people are going to do with this remember this is just these cards in particular we don't know if we're getting other support cards in dawn of majesty either that could potentially make this an even more viable strategy i think a lot of older 5ds players would love to see shooting majestic star dragon be a viable win condition i think that would be fantastic will it happen eh, i'm a little bit pessimistic because again competitive Yu-Gi-Oh has a lot of shit to deal with however i still think this is a really cool set of support and even if it isn't hyper competitive this is something that a lot of the 5ds players are really going to enjoy and i think that's fantastic so guys that's gonna wrap it up for the video let me know down in the comments what you guys think and let me know what i may have missed in this video like i said i am not by any means a synchro master so i'm sure there's stuff i miss that all of you guys would have picked up on the little nuances of i just wanted to deliver you guys the information and my first initial impressions because i thought this stuff was super 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 cool. So thank you all so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video as always. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you found this video informative, consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive early one day access to both the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! and the Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.